Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about multiplying simple fractions and mixed fractions. These are the steps in multiplying simple fractions and mixed fractions. Number one, change the mixed fractions into an improper fraction. Number two, multiply both numerators and both denominators. Use cancellation method before multiplying the fractions if it is possible. Number three, simplify your answer to its lowest term whenever possible. To understand the steps, let's study some examples. Find the product. 4 fifth times 2 and 1 half. First is we're going to change mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So, how are we going to change mixed fraction into an improper fraction? It is so very easy. We're going to multiply the whole number to the denominator of the fraction. So, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Then, add the numerator. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. Then, copy the denominator. So, 2 and 1 half is equal to 5 halves. Then, we can use cancellation before we're going to multiply both numerators and both denominators. So, 4 and 2 are both divisible by 2. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. Also, 5 and 5 are both divisible by 5. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Then, we're going to multiply both numerators. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. And also, we multiply both denominators. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Then, reduce your answer to its lowest term if it is possible. 2 over 1 is equal to 2. Another example. 2 sixth times 5 and 4 eighths. Before we're going to change the mixed fraction into an improper fraction, we can use a cancellation method to both the factors. 2 and 6 are both divisible by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Then, we're going to reduce 4 eighths to its lowest term. 4 and 8 are both divisible by 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. Next, change the mixed fraction 5 and 1 half into an improper fraction. So, 5 times 2 is equal to 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. Then, copy the denominator 2. Next, multiply both numerators and both denominators. 1 times 11 is equal to 11. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. What kind of fraction is 11 over 6? Yes, it is an improper fraction. How do we reduce improper fraction to its lowest term? Alright, divide the numerator by the denominator. So, so, 11 divided by 6, that is equal to 1. 1 times 6 is equal to 6. 11 minus 6 is equal to 5. Take the remainder as our numerator and the divisor as our denominator. Therefore, the final answer is 1 and 5 sixths. I hope you understand our lesson for today. With that, just because something is difficult doesn't mean you shouldn't try. It just means you should try harder. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos.